Hello boys and girls of grade 5, I am Miss Martina Archer Semple and in our science lesson today we would be looking at the leaf, the leaf and its functions. Our objectives is to name the parts of the leaf, identify the importance of the leaf and identify the processes the leaf go through. What is a leaf? Leaf is a plant organ that is flat, thin, and usually green in color. It is mostly found above the ground and remains attached to the stem. The presence of pigment or chlorophyll makes the leaf green in color that helps to prepare food in plants through photosynthesis. As the primary sites of photosynthesis, leaves manufacture food for plants, which in turn ultimately nourish and sustain all land animals. Collectively, green leaves are called foliage. All right, let us now look at the function of the leaves. One, the main function of the leaf is to produce food for the plant by photosynthesis. Chlorophyll, the substance that gives plants their characteristic green color, also absorbs light energy. Next, the internal structure of the leaf is protected by the leaf epidermis, which is continuous with the stem epidermis. If we look carefully, we can see there is a diagram of the leaf and the different parts of the leaf. We have the tip, the margin, the midrib, the vein, then we have the base of the leaf, the axle, and the stem. Also, we have the petiole. What are the different parts of a leaf? A typical leaf shows three main parts. One, the petiole. Two, leaf base. Three, leaf blade or lamina, each performing specific functions. Let us look at the first one, petiole. It is a stalk which connects a leaf to the stem of the plant. It is made of complex conducting tissues called vascular tissues. What is the function? The function is providing support to the leaf and keeps it erect. Also, transporting water and nutrients observed by the roots to the leaves. Also, transporting photo synthetic products from the leaves to the rest of the plant. Let us now go to the leaf base. It is the lower most part of a leaf, which is closest to the petiole. What is its function? The function of the leaf base, helping in the attachment of the leaf to the stem also, it protects the young auxiliary bud. Leaf blade or lamina. It is the thin part of the leaf that is typically green in color. It is further divided into three parts. One, the leaf apex, which is the tip of the leaf blade. Two, we have the leaf margin, which is the edge of the leaf and then thirdly we have the leaf veins 
which is the small channels or capillaries which are further subdivided into venules. So as we continue to look at functions, helping plants to prepare their food using raw materials like water, carbon dioxide, and minerals through photosynthesis. Performing evaporation from the aerial parts of the plant by a process known as transpiration. Veins and venules help in transporting water and nutrients throughout the leaf. Okay, so we have a few questions. Question number one. What are the external parts of the leaf? What are the external parts of a leaf? answer to that is petiole, leaf base, lamina, leaf apex, and leaf margin are the external part of a leaf. Question number two, what are the internal parts of a leaf? What are the internal parts of a leaf? Answer is stomata, guard cells, epidermal cells, mesophyll cells, and vascular bundles, which is xylem, phloem, veins. They are the internal parts of a leaf. Question number three. What part of a leaf helps in gas exchange? What part of a leaf helps in gas exchange. And the answer to that is the gas exchange, which involves the absorption of carbon dioxide and release of oxygen, occurs through tiny pores present in the leaves called stomata. In conclusion, botanically, leaves are an integral part of the stem system. They are attached by a continuous vascular system to the rest of the plant so that free exchange of nutrients, water, and end products of photosynthesis, which is oxygen and carbohydrates in particular, can be carried to its various parts. There we are having a picture showing the process of photosynthesis. Okay, boys and girls, this would have brought us to the end of this lesson. I hope you would have been able to identify parts of a leaf and its functions. I am Miss Martina Archer Semple saying bye for now. Be safe.